Welcome to the Words to Empower television broadcast, featuring Frank and Jackie Stewart, pastor and first lady of the Axe Ministry. And now, Frank and Jackie Stewart. Welcome to the last service of WTE Words to Empower broadcast of 2023. Yes. We're so glad you guys hung with us all year. Give yourselves a hand. Woo-hoo. Yay. We're so glad to see you and to have you joining us on today. This is the last day of the year. Yes. And we have many celebrations um, and watch meeting services planned all over. And so we just want to welcome you to Axe Ministries this Amen. evening at both locations, from yes. 7 to 9 in Conway and from 10 to 12 um, this evening and this um, tonight in North Little Rock. Acts Ministry, so everyone come on out, join us as we celebrate the blessings of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, the continued protection of the Lord, God's hand upon us being in 2023. Our subject today, we're just going to be talking about closing out the year 2023. Amen. And come on out tonight. You hear this? Come on out tonight in either location. Uh, As good as God been to us, we've made it through. You hear you made it through COVID and God is blessing you. You you shouldn't be worried about what the just I want to come into the house of God and give him some thanks. He's blessed us and, and, and he has been good to us and we are appreciative of that. We're going to talk about how to close. We want to close this year out because we're getting ready to walk into 2024 and 24 is a different year. That number 24 is a very powerful number. But as we get ready to walk into a new year and uh, we're going to do that tonight at both locations. We want to celebrate what God has done. And we're going to get ready and prepare ourselves to move into the next year. So we're going to, we're just going to look at here in Exodus, what God said about the beginning of the year. There's an importance and there's a significance. Do not let the devil talk you out of that. Do not let him talk you out of making goals and New Year's resolutions. Don't let him talk you out of that. Because if you don't do that, you have nothing to shoot for. So, so we're going to talk about what the Bible says about uh, the beginning of a year here in Exodus. Okay, if you have your Bible, your PCs, your electronic devices, um, join with us. This will be the New King James Version this week, and we'll be reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 through 4, and then we'll move on to the New Testament, some passages there. But let's start in the book of Exodus, all right? And it reads for us on today. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak to all the congregation of Israel, saying, On the tenth of this month, every man shall take for himself a lamb, according to the house of his father, a lamb for a household. So he he talks about this is going to be the beginning of the month of the year for you. And, and what he's talking about is Passover. Passover. I'm going to bring you out of Egypt and I want you to celebrate this. I want you to start your year off with a celebration of what I have done for you. And brothers and sisters, we all can do that. You know, this is just this is just an Old Testament they did. In the New Testament, with grace and, and Holy Spirit, we should celebrate. God has blessed us to make it through a year and another year, and there's something he wants us to do. So we're going to talk about First Lady how to close this year out. We want to close the year out. And and one of the things we're going to talk about, those of you that are listening to us about closing the year out and moving into a new year, there are some things we don't want to take into 2024. There are some things we want to leave in 23. There are some things we want to walk into 2024, uh, not with things hanging over our head and, and not with certain things that we've dealt with and wrestled with. So we want to talk about forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. We want all the unforgiveness, we want to leave that in 2023 and walk into a new year. And we have some scriptures concerning uh, what Jesus said about forgiveness. And we know it takes God's word to help us. It takes his word to deliver us, his word to help us walk into another year, especially to release some people from some of the things that they've done to us and and to be able to do that and to walk in a new year because when we release them we release ourselves somebody said unforgiveness is like having it's like drinking poison 
expecting somebody else to die. Mm -hmm. So here we are closing the year. We're going to close the year on unforgiveness and walk into 2024 uh, with forgiveness in our hearts. It says this month shall be your beginning of months. He's saying it's it's a like a restart, a do over. Yes. It's like day eight, a new beginning. And so he's letting Israel know you've been in bondage and captivity for over four hundred years. You've been under hard taskmasters. You've been suffering as a slave. You've been um, done wrong in Egypt. But he spoke to them, and I like this. He spoke to both Aaron and Moses while they were in it, while they were in Egypt. And so before they came out, he didn't speak mm -hmm. this new thing to them um, once they got out of Egypt and crossed over the Red Sea and, and um, came into Canaan. No, he said it to them while they were yet in Egypt. He spoke unto them and said, this month, this is, this is not, this is our first month would be January. So he, he sang unto them, even though they don't have January through December like we have, the Hebrew calendar, he sang this month, even though we are several months in, this Passover month, whether this is the seventh month or uh, the ninth month, he's saying, I need you to understand, I'm fixing to start your calendar all over. All over again. I'm fixing, I'm fixing to wipe the slate clean, and I'm going to, you know how you have those dry erase calendars where you're able to erase it, and then you write in, something for the new year, for the new month, for the new week. And so he said, I'm going to erase everything that you've been through. I'm going to erase all of that so that you can start over, start afresh, start anew. Um, I want this to be um, the beginning of something great, the beginning of something new for you. And so he's saying, this is going to be the beginning of months. And I shall, and excuse me, and it shall be the first month of the year to you. So I want you to start it a certain way. I want you to get your Passover lamb, but 14 days, I want you to hold this lamb at your house. Keep it close to you. Keep it because this is going to be a type and a shadow of things to come. This is going to be part of your deliverance. This is going to be the thing that you need to do as you're crossing over, as you're going to go through the baptism of the Red Sea, as you're going to cross over onto the next um, shore with praise and worship as you're going to get your tambourines and your tablets and yes. get ready to celebrate. I need you to do some things first. And the Passover was very important for them to um, not only institute, but for them to partake of in order for this new beginning. Sometimes we just want new beginnings, new beginnings, and we don't want to do what it takes for that new beginning to start. Amen. And he said he wanted you to get this lamb separated because this lamb going to represent Christ. Yes, it's going to represent Christ. Yes, and indeed. it's the Passover. It's, it's, it's when the power of God caused death to pass over uh, the children of Israel with the blood on the doorpost. So this represents Christ. Mm -hmm. And yes, this, this we're looking at this first lady as a principle, mm -hmm. the beginning of the year, how you start the year off. That's important. That's we see that here. Yes, he's our Passover. So when we look at this to see how we start a year is so, so very, very important. And we want to start the year and the subject is closing out the year 2023. Some things we want to close out. There's a lot of things we want to add, but it's some things we're just going to focus on some things we need to just shut the door on. There are some things we need to close the door on and walk into the new year uh, totally different. Yes. So we, we see that the Israelites, they're coming out of bondage, they're coming out of slavery, they're coming out of Egypt, and they're going to walk in a new way of life. They're going to walk in a different way. They're going to walk according to different rules, regulations, um, relationship. They're going to walk according um, to God's commandments and his laws, his statutes, his precepts. They're going to change where they have been. The way the, if he wants them not only just to change locations, because we can go out of 2023 into 2024. We're now no longer in 2023, but we can still have an Egypt mindset. We can still have a bondage mindset. We can still have um, a slavery mindset. So we have to change not just the location or the position or the um, year, but we have to change some other things in order to be blessed the way God wants to bless us in 2024. Absolutely. And the only way you can do that is prepare. 
Start getting ready. Start getting ready. You have to be intentional. It has to be something you intentionally say, hey, I'm tired of you following me from one year to another year to another year. This is the last year that that I am going to allow you to be in my life. And I'm talking about things. I'm talking about certain things we wrestle with, we struggle with, whatever it is. You know what it is and and whatever the slavery is, Mm -hmm. uh, the addiction. Uh, Pharaoh is not coming in this year with you. Mm-hmm. You know, and the things that tormented you. We're going to walk through the Red Sea. There's going to be some things that we're going to let drown in the Red Sea. And I love, the one thing I love about what, what the Bible says about the Red Sea, this enemy you see today. We'll see again. No more forever. Forever. This is going to be the end of it. Mm-hmm. So what, he, what, what God is saying to them, even though you've been here, for over 400 years, mm-hmm. I can deliver you so completely, so absolutely, that that enemy that's been hanging around all this time, from generation to generation, from one generation to another generation, that enemy, mm-hmm. I can deliver you from him, and and you will never see him again. You will never have to wrestle with this addiction or whatever the thing is again. I'm going to bring you completely out. So when the Lord told the children of Israel that I'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey, wherever God takes us, it's better than where we've been. Whenever we follow the leading of the Lord, it's better than where we were. And that's not just, um, out of darkness into this marvelous light, yes, into salvation. But we go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. He wants to take, you know, a songwriter in the old saints used to say, every day, every day with Jesus, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. You have to understand that when God moves us and we follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, the leading of the Lord, he takes us to better. He takes us to higher. He takes us to um, a place where we are more blessed than where we were prior, than than we were in our past, than we were. And he wants to do that. He wants to elevate us. He wants to um, exonerate us. He wants to to help us. He wants to free us. And he whom the Son sets free. Free indeed. He is free indeed. So born into the new year. it is attached to what what is going on here in, in Exodus is is walking into the new year with a with a dimension of freedom mm-hmm. that you didn't have in the previous year. Mm-hmm. So when you look at this, there's so much that comes with this. To close the door now, they close the door on Pharaoh. They close and this Passover mean it's over. That thing that has tormented you, you know, all the struggles you've had with it, and we look at we look at we look at the we look at the nine plagues before. Nine plagues, nine struggles. Pharaoh kept saying, I'm going to let you go. And they kept thinking, we're going to go. Let's pack. Let's get ready. And he just would renege on his word. And he wouldn't follow through. So there's, there might be things that we've tried to get, get rid of. Some things we try to get free from. Do, do not be discouraged over that. Because you can see Israel, you know, he, God brought in the flies, he brought in, he brought in frogs, he brought in different things and turning the Nile into blood, he brought in the locusts, he brought in the hail and, and, and all of that hailstorm. But they end up still in the struggle, still in Egypt. But this one, Passover, which represents the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. Yes. The blood can set you free. The blood, somebody said the blood still works. It still works. And this is and this is is a type and shadow of the blood of Jesus. This is a type and shadow of the cross. Because think about it, when death came through, it wasn't just animal blood that it was seeing that made it pass over. It's only one blood that has this kind of power. And that's the blood of the blood of the lamb. It represented what Jesus would do on the cross. And when the death angel came through, it passed over. So we have Passover. Yes. So we're going to take a break right here, and we'll meet you back on the other side of these messages. 
Blessings to each and every one of you. I'm Lady J, and this is Pastor Stewart of Acts Ministries. We want to take this time out to say happy, happy, happy um, New Year to each and every one. And for those of you who are celebrating Christmas, we want to say happy, very merry, merry Christmas to each and every one of you and a blessed, prosperous New Year. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We are hoping you have a Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year from the Acts Ministry. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Acts Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'm Lady J, and this is Pastor Stewart of Acts Ministries. We want to take this time out to say happy, happy, happy um, New Year to each and every one. And for those of you who are celebrating Christmas, we want to say happy, very merry, merry Christmas to each and every one of you and a blessed, prosperous New Year. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We are hoping you have a Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year from the Acts Ministry. God bless you. Welcome back. We're talking about closing out the year 2023 and the scripture in the book of Exodus chapter 12 where the children of Israel came out of Egypt and the Lord said, this is going to be the beginning of months for you. I'm, I'm, I'm starting your calendar all over again. I am taking where you are now and making this your new beginning. I'm, I'm making it where you're no longer stuck in what used to be, what, what has been, what you've experienced. Now we're going to have new experiences. We're going to have greater experiences. We're going to um, walk a new way and a new path and, and be in a new light and, and live in a new place. And I mean, everything becomes new. And that's what the Lord wants for us, where all things become new when we're in Christ Jesus. And so we're looking at going out of 2023 into 2024 coming out just like the children of Israel came out. When the Bible says when they came out after the, they partook of the Passover meal, there was not one feeble one amongst them. When they came out, they came out with silver and gold and raiments that they plundered Egypt with. When they came out, he says, I'm telling you, when we follow the leading of the Lord, everything is better. Everything is, is more glorious. Everything um, your health is better. Your your mindset is better. Your finances is better. Your everything. We want we want to walk in ordered footsteps where everything is better in 2024. So in 2024, you know what you're alluding to is just as Israel. We compare is that uh, the sickness. You know they close the door on sickness. Not one feeble man among them. They close the door on poverty. 
they closed the door on some things. Uh, they plundered the Egyptians. So when we think about closing out the year, that is very, very powerful. Uh, how Israel closed out one year and went into another year. And we have to look at this. He says, he says when this happened, we're going to change this to the first of the year. So even though we're starting, even though we're starting, uh, this, is, this is the 31st. And he said, well, I don't have enough time to get all that done. Brothers and sisters, walk in it. Walk in it. Walk in it. Your 31st might be the 15th of January. Your 31st might be the last of January. Walk in it. Because what is going to happen here with, with Israel, that process, the process that it took to bring about this deliverance, to bring about the 10th plague. This is the 10th plague. You know, so you start looking at how the year started. The year started. Passover, you normally it's in March or April, uh, beginning of the year, they that's, they start the year off with the celebration. So, so do not allow the, the enemy to enslave you in your thinking. Walk out of it. Make plans to walk out of it. They walked out of slavery. They walked out of financial bondage. They walked out of sickness. Let me insert this because this is December 31st, and we um, started the broadcast off telling you about our New Year's Eve watch meeting celebration. Um, one thing that happened when Pharaoh would not let God's people go, he would say, I'm going to let you go and worship in the wilderness, but leave your kids here, leave your children here. And then he'd say, I might let you go, but leave your cattle here. You can't take them to worship. And that, that represented the finances. That represented the next generation. The, and so for watch meeting night, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the generations together. Every generation needs to be celebrating what God has done because he's been good to the old as well as the young. Yes, he's been yes. good to every last one of us. He's been faithful. He's been righteous. He's been just. He's been good. He's been merciful. He's been kind. He's been loving. And so since we have all experienced this, we all need to participate. This is not just for the baby boomers or that that older generation. This is for everyone. Not just for so, the millennials. And, and the Lord wants us to understand he wanted everybody brought out. He wanted everybody blessed. He wanted everybody to receive. And so we're going to be um, celebrating the God of every generation um, for our New Year's Eve watch, watch meeting celebration. And we want you to participate, no matter how old you are, no matter how how young you are. We want you to come and enjoy the generations coming together in worshiping God because we can't close out this year with just a few select people. We have to close it out with everyone joining hands, locking arms, coming together in unity and on one accord so that God can bless us all because he is the God of the the third and fourth generation unto the thousandth and the the forever generations. He wants us to know that he is God. Amen. And to understand that coming out, no matter what generation you're in, just that connection, we're standing on somebody's shoulders. You're standing on somebody's shoulders, brothers and sisters. We did not get where we are. We did not arrive at this point right. by ourselves. Right. There are some people that have gone on before us. Mm -hmm. And not just to celebrate your generation, celebrate the generation before and after. And I, I celebrate our grandkids' generation, yes. the grandchildren's generation, and, and to pray for that generation, to pray for them that will go through things that we never experienced, we never went through. So, so it is going to be a time of celebration, time of appreciation, time of worship, time of magnifying the Lord, but also a time of purpose and a time of intentionality that we're closing some things out. There's some things we're closing, we're shutting the door. Just like the children of Israel walked through that Red Sea and, and, and Pharaoh and, and, and the armies and all that stuff tried to pursue them, there's some things that are going to try to pursue you. But the Lord says, I want you to shut the door on it, close it out, in the name of Jesus, do not let it come over with you because he wants to take us to our promised land. Yes. He wants to take us to the place where he said, every place you put your foot, right. I've given it unto you. Right. So he wants to take us to another dimension in him and, and we can go there and he will do that by shutting the door on some things. But you know what? A willingness to let it go, a willingness to release it. And I try to pull it over with you. Or go back into yeah. it. Because many times the people of Israel tried to turn back around. After God brought them out with a strong arm, after he brought them out with a mighty deliverance, after he brought them out with signs and wonders, 
miracles. They still try to get captains and different people to take them back into the slavery, back into bondage, back into Egypt, back into the heartache and heartbreak and the things that God brought them out of. They tried to go right back into it. Amen. I try to go back and dig it up and recuperate it. We see Aiken trying to do that. You're in a new land now. You don't need you don't need that stuff. You know, he went and stolen and put hid it in his tent. No, 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 no. Whatever happened then, we're gonna leave it over there. We don't wanna be involved with that. We don't want that slavery to be brought over to the other side. So make up in your mind. That's why we need we need goals. We need New Year's resolutions. Enemy the enemy will talk you out of that. He'll say to you, Well, you never fulfilled any of it so there's no it's no need him trying don't even say you're gonna have any goals but see the problem with that is is what jesus told us in in saint mark 11 23 he told us some things that we could have what we say yes. so if satan can keep you from saying anything brothers and sisters you can't have it so he doesn't want you to set goals and he doesn't want you to move forward in your life yes. he wants you to be stuck but God says, if you move forward, everything that's following you, everything that's pursuing you, I'll drown it. And I'll drown it. I will destroy it. I'll shut the door on it. And if you first you don't succeed, the saying says, try, try, try again. Try again. Pharaoh didn't let them go on the first time Moses went and said, the Lord God Almighty said, let my people go. He didn't let them go. But he, he persisted. He kept going back. He kept going back until... He got results. We have to keep going back until we get the results that God is calling for us to have. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. And that's what God wants us to have. And that's what we need to have uh, as a result as we walk into another dimension. So we are thankful to God for his goodness, his kindness, and his grace. Let's shut the door on some things and let's move into 2024, uh, the year of government, the year of order. It's kingdom time as we move forward. Yes, yeah, so we shut the, let's shut the door on, on all those things that are not like God, all those things that God has brought us out of. So we're going to pray and ask God to help us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time, this hour. We thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your grace that has brought us to this point of 2023. And as we get ready to move forward, we know your grace and your mercy will be with us. And we just thank you and we bless you. And we ask you to bless those that are listening now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us on this last day, December 31st, 2023. As we get ready to cross on over, come celebrate at the 7 p.m. service in Conway tonight and on uh, tonight at 9 p.m. excuse me 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. Yes. will be our North Little Rock Acts watch meeting New Year's Eve celebration come in and enjoy the generations the God of, of every generation because it is the generation that seeks him that seeks his face oh Jacob Zillah God bless you is our prayer we want to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year. Happy new year. God happy new year. Pray. Until next year and next week. Amen. The Acts Ministries is located at 1423 Ingram in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock. Call 501-329-2055 or go to actsministriesonline.org for more information.